Hello, in this video we will see how to use the tapply function in R. tapply function is uh, useful when uh, there is a need to perform an operation or a function on subset of vector broken down by a given factor variable. So what is this vector broken down by a given factor variable? To understand this, imagine we have ages of 20 people, males, females, and we need to know the average age of males and females from this sample. To start with, we can group ages by the gender. Okay, we have say ages of 12 males and ages of 8 females and later on we can calculate the average age of these males and females separately. In this example, technically, we have a quantitative variable age or a, ve a vector object age. We have a factor variable gender and gender could be a male or female. We, we then create, created the subset of this quantitative variable broken down by gender. And after subsetting, we got the ages of 12 males as one of the subset and ages of 8 females as another subset. And as a next step, we, we could perform the average operation on these subsets we obtained above. This is exactly what T applied does. So let's go ahead and see the syntax of T apply. We will use the str function on T apply and it shows the syntax. The function here in this case is T apply. The first argument is a vector say in this case in the uh, uh, considering the age example it would be the age vector index is the factor variable or factors more than one factor variable uh, passed as the argument in uh, considering our uh, the example of uh, uh, the age uh, data sample the uh, uh, the factor variable in this case would be gender male or female the function which we want to be performed on on the vector um, in our exam uh, uh, data set data sample example it was uh, we wanted the average so it would be mean uh, the dot 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 would be the arguments uh, additional arguments or optional arguments uh, required for the uh, function so let's see an example how to uh, use the t apply function We'll start with a, a, a data set uh, which uh, comes with R. To see the data sets which come, comes with R, we use the data function. And if we call the data function, we see a bunch of uh, inbuilt data sets or the data sets which comes with R inbuilt. And so for this demonstration, we will use the iris data set okay let's go ahead and uh, use the str function on iris data set and we see that we have 150 observation on five variables and the five variables uh, are listed out here out of this five variable we have the four variables as quantitative variable it's the observation, the sepal length, the sepal width, the petal length, petal width. Also, we have species, which is a factor or categorical variable. Let's go ahead and apply the summary function on iris data set. And we see that uh, we have three species here, uh, setosa vers versicolor, uh, Virginica. We also see that for each of the quantitative variable R gives us the summary, the minimum, the maximum, the mean, the first quartile, the third quartile and the medium. 
Well, we have the mean here, the average of sepal length, the average of sepal width, and so on. I'm I am not interested in in the average of the sepal length. Instead, I want the average of sepal length broken by the species. So I want the average of sepal length for for those who fall un, under the category of setosa. I want the average of sepal length who, which fall under the category of versicolor and the average of uh, the mean sepal length falling under the category virginica. Okay. We will use the t-apply function here using the t-apply function on the vector sepal length and how to access the the uh, uh, the uh, object sepal length we will use the iris data set followed by dollar sign and the name of the variable sepal length Next is the uh, the uh, index or the factor variable. In this case, the factor variable is pieces. Okay. And the the operation or the function we would like to operate is mean. And so we can see that for each of the category we have we now have the mean values the mean value for sepal length for each of the categories okay now let's uh, go ahead and use another data set um, and this time we will be using the empty cars data set so let us um, use the str function on empty cars and so we can see we have uh, 32 observations of 11 variables we have a mix of variables here we have a mix of quantitative variables and the categorical uh, uh, variables or the factor variables we see here uh, we have uh, mpg which we are going to use for uh, for um, this uh, example miles per gallon we also have the uh, the uh, number of cylinders um, in the car. It's, it can be a six cylinder car or a four cylinder car or a eight cylinder car. So let's go ahead and, and go ahead and uh, find out the average miles per gallon for each of the type of cylinders. So. Uh, mean miles per gallon for a six cylinder car mean average miles per gallon for a four cylinder car and eight cylinder car so similar to above uh, example we can use the t apply function on the miles per gallon this is our um, vector and the factor variable in this case is uh, the number of cylinder so uh, cyl and what we need to find is uh, the mean so we'll pass the mean function and we can see that for each of the uh, um, uh, categories the number of cylinders uh, we get the average value Imagine if I if, if we want to find the um, mean miles per gallon uh, grouped by two factor variables. Uh, in this example, we calculated the mean miles per gallon categorized or grouped by the number of cylinders we had in the car, six, four, or eight. Now I want the mean to be grouped by the number of cylinders in the car as well as another variable the transmission type uh, here we see in the data set that am variable is uh, basically the transmission type where one indicates manual transmission and zero indicates the automatic transmission so it's a factor variable let's see how to pass 
two factor variables in t apply function okay we'll call t apply function on empty cars dollar and just a tip um, I'm using Mac and if if I um, if I press on tab key I will get options here and we can we can choose uh, uh, the variables whatever we want so I will choose miles per gallon comma here we can specify two variables using lists list the first variable I want is empty cars dollar cylinder and the second variable I want is the transmission type which is AM okay 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 and then we want the mean of mean function on this on these variables okay so here we see we have the average uh, values categorized by the number of cylinders in the in the rows and in 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 the, in the column we see uh, whether it is uh, automatic or uh, manual and in this case we can say that the mean miles per gallon for a four cylinder and the automatic car is 22.90 similarly the mean of six cylinder car with automatic transmission is 19.125 at any point uh, you want to know more about the data sets we have used you can use the question mark followed by the name of data set and you, you will see the help document uh, and you can go through this uh, document to understand the data set better similarly we can use the question mark followed by empty cars and it would uh, describe um, uh, it will op open the help uh, documentation and it will give the description of all the variables used and um, uh, other details